Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys, and today I've got some Conquest Large footage recorded on Karg Island to share with you all. And this was recorded on October 25th, 2011, literally the day Battlefield 3 came out. So, my gameplay wasn't very good, my map knowledge was abysmal, but so were my teammates and my opponents, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but I thought it would be fun to look at this footage, see what this game was when it first came out, and reflect on that when looking forward to uh, what this game will hopefully eventually become with all of its DLC and patches and all that good stuff. And the reason why I wanted to do this today is because the patch for PC finally has a confirmed release date of tomorrow, March 29th, 2012. So I am very excited to get my hands on that patch. Those of you who play on PC, I'm sure you're feeling the exact same way. Uh, unfortunately, Xbox 360 players, still no ETA on the patch for you guys. So hopefully DICE is working hard on that and uh, it will come out soon. But, you know, fingers crossed it doesn't take too long. With that out of the way, I do want to talk about a few things that came to light as a result of the PS3 patch yesterday, as well as the battle log update that came uh, simultaneously with that PS3 patch. And it has to do with a couple different things. First up, for those of you who are interested in like game battles and esports and playing Battlefield 3 competitively, DICE, when they were still developing Battlefield 3, still preparing it for launch, they kept going to these competitive events and talking about how they were working to uh, support esports with Battlefield 3, but then the game came out and it didn't have any esports features, no competitive features whatsoever. And people were really upset about that. Uh, but it looks like, you know, it may have been the case that they were actually planning or working on esports features because there is now an option in Battle Log to create a match and there's code in battle log like dormant code based on what I've heard that uh, you know has all of these alerts talking about esports features and team leaders joining matches creating matches hosting matches so on and so forth so it looks like eventually that functionality will be activated and you esports guys and clan members and all all those sorts of people, they'll be able to finally set up some competitive matches and uh, play Battlefield 3 the way they were always hoping they would be able to play it, which is competitively. But in conjunction with that create match feature, there is also a new view match feature available in Battle Log. It's not active, again, um, but you can kind of see a glimpse of it on the horizon if you look very closely at some of the new options available in Battle Log. So, uh, yes, there's that create match function, but there's also a view match function. And when you click on view match, it will take you to a page that will allow you to join a match in progress and view it, which makes me think that there is a spectator mode, which is awesome. It's not ideal for my purposes. But it's good for uh, adminning servers. It's good for spectating competitive matches and make sh making sure there's no cheating going on. And uh, if you have some friends playing and you you have to eat dinner or eat lunch or do something else, you can spectate your friend's match and you know do whatever it is you have to do without having to worry about letting your team down. So that's very cool. But additionally, when you click view match on the right hand side there is a box which is labeled as finished matches and my thoughts are why would there be a section for finished matches if there weren't some sort of battle recorder or theater mode on the horizon I don't know which it will be but I would bet money that uh, they are in the works and will be activated soon, whatever it may be, be it battle recorder or theater mode. So if this is true, if 
these signs do indeed point to a battle recorder, theater mode, and or spectator mode. I will be a very, very happy camper because it will make my job uh, recording videos and posting videos much, much easier and it will open the doors for all sorts of awesome machinima and cinematics and just crazy, crazy stuff that you guys will be able to enjoy on YouTube and other video sites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these changes to Battlelog and what they might entail and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.